Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am absolutely thrilled to share some of the exciting news with you all. I recently took and passed the brand new Google Generative AI Leader Certification exam. It's a first of its kind credential from Google Cloud designed to recognize leaders in the rapidly evolving world of generative AI. In this video, I'm going to pull back the curtain and tell you exactly how I prepared, who is this certification for and its difficulty level and why should you seriously consider adding it to your resume. So stay tuned. So what is this Google Generative AI Leader Certification? You might be thinking it is for developers or AI engineers and the answer is not necessary. So this certification is specifically designed for visionaries, professionals who want to understand how Generative AI can transfer businesses and drive the innovations. And it's for anyone who need to bridge the gap between technical AI and the real world business values. Who can take this certification? The business leaders, the product manager, the product manager, the strategist, and then the consultant or the team leads. How certification is for the leaders who are willing to transform their business with the help of generative AI. What a difficulty level? It's similar to Google Cloud Digital Leader Certification and the difficulty level is from foundational to intermediate level but more leaning towards the foundational levels. And its difficulties lies in your ability to understand the core concept of generative AI and then identifying the processes or the practical use cases of it and then aligning it to your business strategies and navigating Google, Google Cloud Gen AI capabilities to conceptual or the POCs in the real world scenarios. So the questions you you are often get are the scenario based and are more or less to test your judgments and ability to apply the world business solutions. It's because AI is everywhere. So AI has penetrated everywhere. All the businesses from media to healthcare to banking everywhere is AI. It's very important to know about the capabilities of AI. Once you get certification, you'll get a strategic advantage and it will inc uh, increase your credibility and the confidence to talk about AI. Definitely it will accelerate your career. If you are an early adopter, it's always a big plus for your career. So let's see how can you get certified? How can you prepare for this certification? So here I'm on a cloud.google.com learn certification and generative AI leader. This is a generative AI leader uh, certification. The information is given here. So you can see the FAQs and you can register from here. 19 So exam length is 90 minutes and it's valid for uh, three years. There is no as such prerequisite and the exam format of 50 to 60 multiple choice question. But I remember I got around 45 to 50 questions. Study guide and the learning path is given here and the sample questions as well are given here. There's 30 questions. I got around two to three questions and once you complete all the reading learning, you can schedule your exam. So all this information is given here. I'll tell you how I prepared for the exam. Yeah, so this is a learning path generative AI leader. So in this generative AI leader learning path, they have five modules we can see. I completed all these modules, prepare those questions and then the exam. So this study guide also helped me to clear my examination. In this study guide, if you can see here, they have given segregation. So let me tell you what I got in my exam. 
I got two to three questions on differentiating between supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and the reinforcement learning. Is it a supervised or unsupervised or reinforcement? Basically, we have to find out the exact what kind of learning it fits into. Most of the time, it's confusing, but you need to segregate it with keywords like label data, unlabeled data. Depending upon that, you have to select an option and then the fundamentals of generative AI. Yes, got uh, multiple questions. How, when to use the Gemini model, when to use the Gemma model, when to use the Imagine and when to use a view. Or in some of the scenarios, you'll be asked if I have to write content and generate an image, which model should I use? The correct answer should be the Gemini because it generate the content as well as it to create the image but if the question is about creating only image or the high quality is image so the answer should be imagine so you have to distinguish between which which is the best model to date for that scenario notebook lm i i got one of the question on notebook lm as well uh, on vertex ai studios as well so, uh, what i'll be using a vertex ai or the notebook lm what is the most appropriate tool to use in this a specific scenario agents i got around two to three questions on agents different agents uh, then the call center agents call center agents i got one two questions and then these apis how these apis be used what is the appropriate api for for specific conditions say for example i need to do the translations then which which api needs to be used and then prompt engineering i got around two to three questions reason is it a few short prompting or it's a zero short prompting or which technique has been used in given prompt so is it the prompt chain chaining or the one short prompt i remember i got some of the question from the temperature and the token count well how you can improve the generative ai models yes Yeah, apart from that, I, I got questions on securities, Gen AI securities, then the IIM policies and the governance, data governance and the generative AI governance as well. So what you'll be expecting in my next video is this module. So Gen AI beyond chatbot. So what I'll be doing in that video. So this is a one and half hour video, one and half hour course, but I'll be making short video for you guys. And then, so what you'll be expecting uh, in my next video is I'll be going through all those model one by one and will explain what kind of questions you'll be getting in which chapters or the which module. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and happy learning. Goodbye.